Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a new board that MSI is going to be releasing. Uh, it's the 870 uh, Fusion. Uh, they've already got an 870 out uh, on the market at the moment, which comes in at 100 quid. And uh, this kind of like the Fusion, the better overclocking version of it, the one that we've got, is going to be coming in at about 120 quid. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to just take you off the tripod quickly, show you around the board. Um, although this video is going to be embedded in the review that I've been working on uh, with Mull, uh, I just want to show you the board quickly and then I'll talk you through some of the features and then uh, tell you my thoughts on the board because this is going to be sort of like a little bit of a face-to-face -face chat, a little bit of a uh, let you know what I thought of the board um, and then if you want to uh, you know, get any of the more in-depth uh, testing results and stuff like that, all you need to do is go to Overclock 3D as usual and uh, read the review there. But anyway, I'm going to uh, get you off the tripod and uh, show you um, the board now because it's sat here beside me. Right, here we go peeps. Basically, yes it's already built up. Uh, for those of you that want to know, uh, that's a Silenex cooler. Um, that we'll be testing very soon. The reason why there's a crappy keyboard there is I couldn't get into BIOS uh, without it being on a PS2 keyboard. Uh, it didn't work with a USB one. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why that's there. But yeah, anyway, the board. We come down and have a look. There you go. You see, it's the Fusion Power Edition. Um, it's got overclock genie button. Well, the 1090 in that went straight in with a stable clock of 3.6 gigahertz, so that worked very well. Do you know what I mean? We need to remember the price of this board as well. It's very, very competitively priced. I mean, 120 quid's amazing. The south bridge and the fusions underneath this heatsink. North bridge underneath there, and then quite surprisingly, like I said again, look at all those um phases for the uh, power for the CPU considering how cheap this board is that's amazing power delivery for an AMD processor for this the uh, USB 3 slot there it's got a little thing so you can uh, have a USB 3 on the front of your case it goes in a three and a half inch drive or you can have another one added in one of your PCI brackets it's a good idea but I think it's a bit of a novelty and probably only get away with it where it is a cheaper board if it was a slightly more expensive board I'd expect a, an extra um, uh, NEC chip on there so you can have an extra load of uh, USB 3's did the testing with the uh, Corsair Dominator GT that's 2000 megahertz in there but I'll go into more you know why in a bit at the moment there's a 5770 in here we did uh, the main bulk of testing with a 5870 and then we literally just sw were using GTX 460 and the 5770 for some of the tests. We did do 5770 and 480 as well. We got the same kind of bonuses but I'll go through that with you in a minute. But all in all, for a £120 board I actually don't think this looks too bad. I'd be quite happy to have this in my rig. Luckily, this is a, like a phase power thing. It goes up and down when the CPU is being used um, to show like power draw and stuff like that. You can see it's kind of flashing away there. It does go right the way up to here when it's under full load. If I switch it on to... There you go. But yeah. You can turn that off in BIOS, luckily. Right, I'm going to stick you back on the tripod. You've had a bit of a look round it. You can see all the pictures on Overclock 3D, as I said to you before. Um, and I'll talk to you about the board. Right then, guys. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to you about the board. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep cutting in with screenshots for you. Because, um, do you know what I mean, I could show you the benches on it and stuff like that, do you know what I mean, but it's going to be, you're going to have watched them 20 million times before. Um, it's the same old game with me messing about, 
the same old 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to get down to the nitty gritty. This board is absolutely amazing. Uh, why, you might say, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be about 120 quid, so it's cheap as chips. Um, but the main reason is it overclocks like an absolute monster. Literally, this is the best AMD overclocking motherboard we have had to date. Um, uh, we've got a 1090, do you know what I mean, which is uh, one of our uh, processors that we fiddle about with. No, I mean, it's like one of our static ones that we, you know, we're using all the reviews. Never, ever have we ever had a motherboard that would push that processor to a 400 base. Do you know what I mean? So 400 front side bus, whatever you want to call it, 400 on the actual processor, absolutely phenomenal. Do you know what I mean? We've seen 340 and 350 a few times and we thought that was pretty good. This thing razzed right the way up to 400 and it was just like, oh my god. Um, also got my highest, or we got our highest clock ever on the um, uh, 1090 that we've got. We managed to get uh, 4.5 gigahertz out of it. Uh, with I think we had it on a 375 base or a 350 base. I can't really remember off the top of my head now, but I'll put the screenshots in now. Right, so you've seen 400 base, uh, four, um, yeah, 400 base on the processor. You've seen a 4.5, pardon me, 4.5 gigahertz maximum clock, and this is all on a 120 pound motherboard. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, when we were doing the benches and stuff, it was up there and beating the Crosshair 4 formula from Asus, which is a significantly amount uh, more expensive. Um, it's an absolute corker of a motherboard. Uh, yeah, it's just amazing. The BIOS takes a little bit of time to get used to, uh, but once you've been in there and you've played with it a bit, you won't have any problems. Um, it's yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, the overclock genie side of things, you click it, 3.6 gigahertz, lovely, nice and simple. 100 quid motherboard, click, overclocked, job done. But if you want to get down and dirty with it, it's an absolute little cracker. And do you know what I mean? hands down I'd be sort of saying to you, if you've not got a lot of money for a motherboard, this will be absolutely perfect for you. Now, obviously the icing on the cake with this, and MSI say it's like a little bit of a bonus, it's not really like a main feature, but is the Lucid. Um, so you can run SLI on an AMD motherboard, uh, and you can run um, mixed cards on your motherboard, so you can have an AMD and an NVIDIA uh, graphics card. But also, you can run, for argument's sake, a crossfire without uh, any bridges as well. Because um, they are, you know what I mean, you could think that they're ugly and stuff like that, and you might not want to, and it scales pretty much exactly the same as well. Now with this, we found that uh, going uh, with a, the 5770, we were getting uh, in Vantage with a stock processor, um, so a stock 1090, we get about 10,000. Uh, chuck a 460 in, we were getting uh, 16,500. So that's a fairly big increase there. Um, and it's, do you know what I mean? It would be what we would expect as well, it's bang on the money. Uh, with, uh, five, seven, with a 5870 and a 480, it was roughly, we were getting between six and 7,000 extra 3D mark points. Um, so a little bit less than what we'd expect there. One of the things that we need to remember is we are using an AMD. Uh, and obviously the benchmarks and stuff like that do tend to favour Intel a lot better. Um, when we did uh, the P55 Fusion before, the scores were astronomical, but obviously, do you know what I mean, a lot of that was the, the CPU was quite highly overclocked as well. So we kind of have to weigh it out, but we still need to remember that, do you know what I mean, if you've got a 120 quid motherboard, you're not going to be putting like three, four hundred pound graphics cards in. So for I would say you've got yourself a 5770 already, you fancy trying to 460 out, stuff like that, do you know what I mean? It's sort of like pay packet money, you can do it on one pay packet buying your graphics card. It'd be absolutely perfect for it. I really do see this as being uh, an awesome linchpin for some budget rigs, you know, going forward in the future. And I think there's going to be a load of people adopting this. 
Um, and something that we need to remember is that MSI were kind of like in the shadows for a long, long time. And like the last six months, the products that they've been pumping out have been wicked. So, do you know what I mean? A massive, massive thumbs up. Uh, the long and short of it is, would I recommend it? Damn right I would. It's an absolute blinder. This would be the type of thing that I'd say, if you're a bit bored and you're looking for something to play with, this would be perfect for it. Um, yeah, it's an absolute blinder. Uh, and what we're going to start doing now is we're going to actually start telling you the awards that we're going to be giving products in the video reviews as well. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit better with Sony Vegas, so hopefully you're gonna, there's going to be a, an award kind of appear somewhere. But obviously, do you know what I mean? I'm still trying to get my head around all this stuff, uh, and it is a, you know, it's a slow thing with me. But anyway, the awards. We're going to give it a gold award, plain and simple. But we're also going to give it a value for money award because it does, you know, so much for 120 quid mum awards. A lot of the uh, larger manufacturers out there. Do you know what I mean? Don't really need to name them, but a lot of the larger motherboard manufacturers should severely be worried about this because the price point is absolutely phenomenal and it's kicking the rest of you into touch. Um, I would honestly say that some of the more expensive motherboards I would buy this instead of. Uh, it's not got sort of like the nicest heat sinks on it and stuff like that, but if you're just looking for raw performance, then this ticks every single one of the boxes. And then it'll add a few extras for you and tick them as well. It's amazing. So, the uh, MSI 870A Fusion motherboard. Um, yeah, it's an absolute blinder. I don't need to keep saying it. So, if you're in the market for something like this, double, double thumbs up, gold award. And we're also going to give it value for money as well. It's an absolute corker. Right, this is Tiny Tom Logan uh, finding his remote because I found it again because I keep losing it. But yeah, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another review out.